<laughs> so premiering this week. <laughs> Uh, this is a movie we're both very excited oh, to yeah, see Dunkirk. that we won't have time to watch until the weekend because it will be at Comic Con. Uh, Dunkirk, and uh, the initial buzz coming out is that this movie is fantastic. I I can't wait I to mean, see it. The trailer that came out, the, mm-hmm. the the teaser trailer that came out last fall was on that alone was it like it looks like you know uh, Christopher Nolan is just making it like hyper real, like taking like Saving Private Ryan but bringing it to like this kind of weird almost ethereal feel to it like almost like uh like he's making like a symphony out of like the battle like mm-hmm. like where you know he's using the effects in a way that make it like well clearly it didn't look like this but I'm going to use all these effects to give you the feel of what it may have been like to be in Yeah this. I, I I I I'm wondering if it's going to be that sort of you know how saving private Ryan the opening battle scene mm-hmm. was sort of mm-hmm. groundbreaking in terms of how you shoot how realistic how realistic yeah. And and how to shoot that and direct it and choreograph that realism that we had never seen before. Like right. we had never seen um, war fight like that realistic. And I'm wondering, uh, this feels like maybe uh, that Nolan is going to do something like that that we're going to just go wow. We, just blow us we, away. We've, yeah. we've, I mean, he's in it. Tom Hardy's in it. Like I'm. I'm so impressed by the, the several trailers that I've seen. And yeah. I knew I normally don't like watching multiple trailers on something that I know mm-hmm. I'm going to see, but it just looks looks great. Mark yeah. Rylance, there's no getting out of this, son. Like it's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, think he's hurt at all by the fact that his movies, like in terms of Oscar contention, his movies always come out this time of year, versus mm. drop it right in December? Mm. That's a great point. I think. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it, did that hurt any of the other ones? Because Inception was such a thing that mm-hmm. summer. Like, everyone was talking about it. And come Oscar time, it's like, oh, yeah, that movie. Yeah, Interstellar. Um, I mean, obviously, the Batman movies all got snubbed. I mean, like, he, it's, that's a great question. Yeah, we'll see. But it is a war movie, though. Yeah. I mean, those movies are all science fiction, genre you know, there are different types of movies. This is a war movie. And war movies tend to get Oscar attention. Yeah, yeah. Attention this could sure. be it for uh, for uh, Mr. Nolan. You know, Aaron, you bring up a great point, and maybe to um, deal with that, I, I wonder if we're going to see a heavy re-release of this in late November, early December. Could be. Could yeah, be. Maybe. Because if this is the one, as Chris just said, as being with the war theme that the Oscar, the Academy tends to like, that he might go, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a push on this. Mm-hmm. Because it looks like the strongest movie of the year thus far. Right. I don't know. It could be. Could be. But I'm excited uh, to see it. Uh, speaking of strong movies, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is also releasing this week. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I swear to God, it looks like uh, the director, was it Luke, how do you pronounce Luke his last name? Besson or yeah, Besson? Luke, Besson. Luke Besson. Uh, he, he just went, you know what? I really need to make Fifth Element again. You know, yeah. I, I just feel because it looks and feels exactly the same. However, I will see this. I saw the trailer in the movie theater in 3D, and the 3D trailer was amazing. The depth and the way it was shot, it looked really, really uh, uh, cool it's, from a technological perspective. Now, story wise and it's based movie on a comic wise, book. who knows? Uh, yeah. For people that have, some people that have read it are really fired up to see mm-hmm. this. And so, I think you might be right in the sense that it is based on a comic book that the 3D viewing might be the best way to take it. I think this is the kind of movie where it, it kind of begs to be seen in 3D. Right. Uh, and the next movie is Girls Trip. Now this is our friend Tiffany Haddish, Tiffany is, Haddish. In, is in this film. Uh, and it looks like, again, everyone's trying to still recapture Bridesmaids in one form or another. Uh, but uh, this, I saw the trailer and it made me laugh. It looks funny. It looks funny. I, you mm-hmm. know, I don't know that it's necessarily just trying to capture Bridesmaids so much as they're just going, well, let's take... I mean, Bridesmaids, I don't know that's recapturing Bridesmaids. The Bridesmaids was just, all right, we're taking a male, and hangover. A, yeah. a male version, <laughs> a male version and putting it with all women. Like right. this male comedy theme and the, and this, so we've had, we've had literally, there was Bachelor Party, there was all those movies. Right. And so now it's like, we've had the, the guys going on the road trip and there's the one nerdy dude that's married and then, then there's the party guy that wants to get laid and the mm-hmm. other, you know. So like, let's just do the female version of that. Like, right. they, they just... Could be, for sure. And as I said, that last um, rough night that I saw, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, I, that movie, I, it was okay, it wasn't great, but the, the, the 15 to 20-year-old girls in the audience 
watching Rough Night, loved it. Right. And I think about the movies I thought was funny when I was 16. Mm -hmm. Like a meatballs, por- meatballs, porkies. These yeah. movies are not funny. Yeah. Right. They were hilarious <laughs> at the time. They were fucking. Oh my yeah. god! And the gross yeah. out, and the sex stuff, and the mm-hmm. boners, and the. So if this is what the teenage girls they get this rough night or whatever, it's their movie. Go get it. Mm-hmm. Go get it. And good for Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. All um, right. Well, that is our show. That is our show. Gentlemen. I tried first. Kitty.